So I'm gonna show you my side of our setup, the spaceship, whatever you call it. This is a machine. Um, it's made by Native Instruments and it's its own program and everything, but I really just use it as a MIDI controller, which means I give different assignments to all these different buttons. So um, every time a new song comes on, the whole the whole layout will change via our computer. And uh, you know, I'll be have drum sounds on here, I'll have samples, I'll have uh, things like that, but it also does things like if I want to turn on my vocoder, I have it queued up here. If I want to stop the whole show, I can hit it here. If I w you know, Magic is a song that we use as an encore, so when I come back on, I hit this and it plays, and Kiss the Sky, KTS, is one of our songs, and uh, that cues it up, and yeah, it's a you know, very simple thing, but so useful. Without it, we wouldn't be able to do anything, really. This can also be used in the studio, which is why I originally bought it, and I was using it in the studio. It kind of works like a new age NPC, in the sense that you can, uh, program loops and do everything right on you can make a whole track just by using this if you want to um, we actually don't use it in the studio anymore is we we kind of did for a second and then not anymore but now we really just use it as a MIDI controller um, but it is a great tool in the studio if you're into that this is my little fatty this is like the thing we've had forever um, as you can see it's a little beat up and worn down but this is uh, how I play all the bass lines in our songs and uh, I have my own presets on here, you know, it's the titles of some songs, Knox Bass, R-O-Y-L, We Are Your Friends, all these different sounds that we've programmed that are saved. Um, this is because I'm a terrible keyboard player. This is for me to remember which notes are which in case I'm, you know, a little too drunk on stage and trying to remember things, um, you know. And uh, yeah, this is, I mean, we use this in the studio too. This is on our rack used all the time in the studio. So this has been around a long time. We've had to get it fixed like three times. Um, not because it's a shitty piece of equipment, just because it's been around the world and back. This is a, made by Moog, which is, you know, it's like a household name for electronic music and, and for mono synths in general. Mono means you can only play one note at a time, you can't do chords, um, but that's what makes the bass so fat and so special. And Moog has been, you know, they make arguably some of the best keyboards in the world. So This is my Roland SPD-SX. I play this a lot in the show. This also got very banged up over time. This also, like my drum pads over there, change. If the sounds change throughout the show. Um, and I'll do everything from hi-hats to snares, to samples, to cat like digital cowbell things. And again, I have my presets on here. You know, that's Knox. MIDI means it's just on MIDI mode. Knox Classic is one of our songs. Dancing With Myself is one of our songs. Um, and this is also set up with MIDI also, so sometimes the sounds aren't even loaded on here and it's just cueing MIDI, so I'll have like samples like on Classic, I hit Cuckoo Classic on this thing and uh, yeah, and this is a, a staple as well. So and it's made by Roland, which is uh, obviously another huge brand when it comes to electronic drums or drums in general and uh, I don't know anyone, if anyone uses a drum pad on stage, it's 90% of the time is a Roland, I think especially the SPD SX, this is like the best one. They make bigger ones and stuff like that, but this one's just perfect for me. And uh, yeah, and it's awesome. This is the newer one. We used to have an old one that was like the old SPD, the original one, which like felt ancient. So it's nice to have the newer one. And these over here are my Zed uh, MIDI drums. These, unlike the SPD, you can't load sounds onto them. They are literally just triggers. Um, and these have different sounds. Sometimes I'm hitting like these laser sounds, sometimes I'm hitting um, big 80s tom roll style stuff. Um, and these are fun because it's one of those things where no matter where you hit the drum or how hard you hit it, your sound is gonna come out. So I can like just like really go nuts on it. And it like looks cool, you know, because you're banging them and I don't know, they're just fun to have. And I got my these guys and my cymbals and this is, you know, a little drum zone. And now down here is, we call this the brain. Uh, this is where you got these two Fireface, um, these RMEs, which are basically the brain of everything. All the audio goes into there, comes out of there, all the MIDI is controlled through there, our in-ear monitors are con controlled through here, and it's all running through Ableton on the laptop. Um, this is also our in-ear so our in -ear packs. Um, but like I said, this is the not only the most expensive part of the whole rig probably, but the most important. If this thing dies, the whole show shuts off, which is scary sometimes, and it has happened. We've blown fuses before, um, but recently we upgraded and got two that are newer, so hopefully that will never happen again. But uh, we used to run literally off like a little like USB sound card thing, so this is a big step up for us and it, it makes the whole show way more powerful.